All right, for our next workflow, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to extend our merge workflow and we're actually going to publish a package to the GitHub NPM package repository. Uh, so to do this, there is an example project, this TS config project uh, subfolder uh, inside the repository. Uh, if you're not familiar, uh, TS config is a configuration file that's used uh, for TypeScript, and it is given to the TSC compiler uh, when it's compiling your code and converting it over to JavaScript. And generally, this file will just be a JSON file. Uh, with your options and uh, what this project is is it exports this out as an object as an npm package so that way we can reuse this configuration across multiple projects uh, so to get started let's go ahead and switch over to our code and the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and create a new uh, workflow file so we're going to call this publish package dot yaml what we'll do uh, like i said we're going to extend our merge yaml so let's just copy all of that code over here we'll update our name uh, so we'll do publish github npm package we'll change our project uh, directory uh, so we'll do tsconfig project we will also do that for our working directory and for our caching, our particular project doesn't actually have any dependencies. Uh, so there's nothing to install. So let's go ahead and get rid of that cache. And then what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and clean up some of these scripts. So if we just take a quick peek inside our project, you'll see that most of these scripts do not exist. And the reason for that is because we're just exporting out this JSON file. There's no uh, building, compiling, testing, linting, anything that really needs to be done on the project. We're just taking this file and exporting it out. Uh, so what we'll do is we're just going to go ahead and set up node. We don't need to do install test or any of that. So let's get rid of that. We do want to go ahead and bump our package version so if there is a new release of our configuration we do want this to get bumped up so we will want to use the version uh, with our message and we'll also want to commit it to the repo and then what we'll need to do is we actually need to add the commands for publishing to uh, github so what we'll do is we're going to add a new step we're going to call it publish to github for the name when we run, we're going to run a few commands. Uh, so we'll do npm config set registry. And we're going to set this to the GitHub npm package repository. And so uh, generally, um, when you're working with NPM, the default registry is the NPM registry. And so if you want to point to a different one, such as GitHub, so a self-hosted one, uh, or any of the various other ones, uh, you actually have to update your configuration for NPM to point to that. So that way you can pull packages uh, from there. So then because we updated our uh, configuration there, uh, generally when you work with the registry, when you want to publish a new version of a package or publish a version of a package, uh, you have to provide your credentials uh, to authenticate against the registry. Uh, so this is something you'll typically do with NPM. You also do with uh, GitHub. Uh, so we'll need to provide our access token to do this. Uh, luckily, out of the box, our GitHub workflows, uh, as I said, has a particular secret that is available during the workflow running uh, that has this permission uh, to do so. Uh, we just need to tell npm how to use that uh, token. Uh, we can do that by doing npm set. And now we just need to point to our registry. So the npm package github.com do slash and then auth token. And then we just need to provide the secret, our environment variable that's available. So it's env.node auth token and then we're going to want to go ahead and run our script for publishing our package so if you go into our package json one of our scripts is published to github um, and so it just goes ahead and publishes to the github package repository uh, so we'll do npm run publish 
GitHub. And then we just need to provide this environment variable. Uh, so when we do env dot variable name, that needs to be available to the particular step that's running and it needs to reference something. Uh, so currently this will be undefined. So if we try to run this, this, this will fail. And so what we can do is we can provide environment variables to a particular step, or if it's something that's reused across multiple steps, you can also add it outside your jobs as a global variable and it'll be available to all steps. Um, since this step is the only one that needs this variable, we're going to add it just here. And so basically this takes the environment variable name that we want to set and then the value that we want to pass into the environment. And so this will be the actual secret that is set by this workflow. Um, and so it's just secrets.github token that's available to this workflow when it runs. And with this little change, that should be all we need for our workflow. Uh, so let's go ahead and save. And we need to make a few modifications to our package JSON file. Uh, so generally when you publish your NPM packages uh, on GitHub or like NPM, uh, they will have a scope that's tied to your username. And so this is right now pointed to the main repository for where the code's hosted. We're actually gonna want to update this to reflect our GitHub username. Uh, so in my case, this will be Scott Westover, and you just wanna replace this with your actual username uh, for GitHub. And then the other piece we'll want to do is update this repository uh, URL. And so when we publish our GitHub uh, NPM package, it's going to use this repository URL to publish the package to that repo. And so generally uh, this will be your username as well. And when you fork the repo, uh, it should still have the GitHub Actions Basics course name. And just to do a little bit of cleanup, I'm also going to go ahead and do it with the bugs and the home page just to keep it consistent. All right, before we push our code, uh, let's just go ahead and update our job name as well. So we're just going to change this to npm publish. All right, so now if we save and push our code, uh, we should be able to test our changes. All right, so if we switch back to the GitHub UI, uh, what we'll do is we'll come to actions. We should see our new workflow for publishing our uh, GitHub NPM package. And so our workflow should run uh, because it will run when code is merged. Uh, so we're going to take a look. Uh, we'll see the publish workflow. We'll see we went ahead, bumped our version, and then what we're really interested in is publish the GitHub here. So you'll see we set our registry to the GitHub package repository. Uh, we go ahead and set up our uh, configuration and then you'll see that we have our details from npm so we see our package our version and it'll say it was published to npm and this plus icon means it should be successful uh, so ideally what we should see in our code base is we should see our new package uh, so if we come back to the main page you'll see over here on the right hand side i have this ts config example package and so now if I set up my code base to use GitHub NPM packages, I can go ahead and install this package and uh, use it. Uh, so one thing to note is if you don't see this on the right hand side, if you go up to your settings over here, uh, you can have this option to enable and disable packages and it'll show up. Also, if you go to your repo name and then go to packages as part of the URL, you'll see the packages that are tied to that particular uh, repository.